you'd like to see what it's like to find Hyperion, then keep watching. We will be going down a trail, bushwhacking across a river, down a creek bed, and up another hillside to hopefully find this tree. The first leg of our journey to find Hyperion is to hike down this trail for a while. And we're still headed down the trail. Here is one of the large redwoods right here beside the trail. You can't really tell how large these tre trees are from these videos because there's nothing really to compare it to. So I'll try to show you some comparisons of things you're, you're familiar with like me standing by it maybe or my trekking poles or backpack next to some of these trees so you can start seeing the large size of them. On the way down the trail, I just wanted to show you another tree. It's way hard to understand how large these trees are in a video because you can't really get the perspective on it to compare it to anything else that you're familiar with. So I'm going to go over there and set my backpack next to this tree and then um, you can see how, how large it is compared to a, a large backpack and backpack. Okay, so there's my backpack I'm using on this trip for camping overnight tonight. and. Uh, compare that and my trekking poles there and I zoom out here you can see how big the size of uh, the width of the whole tree is it's very large as you can see and I'm sure this one is over 300 feet tall itself there are many around here that are over 300 feet moving on towards Hyperion you'll find the switch back in the trail many more switchbacks. Just happen to stop here by these four cool trees growing up here. These redwoods are awesome. There are approximately 3 trillion trees on planet Earth, and believe me, I cannot wait to see with my own eyes the tallest one in the world. All right, we're still on the way there, and I found this really cool spot where these trees have fallen down. The redwoods uh, live for a long time after they fall down, uh, giving life to um, other species of plants, and uh, the wood doesn't rot very fast also. Once they fall down, they're there for hundreds of years still uh, before they decompose. And this is just a really neat area showing several redwoods all together and these two that fell down over the trail.
Hyperion was just discovered in 2006, so it's a relatively recent discovery. Again, I put my backpack and trekking poles next to this tree to give you some perspective. It's a large uh, multi-day backpack and uh, this particular tree looks uh, burned, has charring. Went up the side, looks very dead. Of course, you can see how huge it is. Um, and as you look up on it, you actually find out that it's alive and very green on top, so it's pretty cool to see the resilience of these trees. In fact, the tree is only about one third there, uh, and there's new sprouts coming out way up high, so it's pretty cool to see how resilient these redwoods are. Still heading down the trail, should be getting a little bit closer to the spot where I'm going to leave the trail and start bushwhacking. Hello? Hi. So amazing. There are several here that are well over 300 feet. Okay, so we're going to leave the trail right here and head over. Getting pretty iffy from this point, but I'm gonna attempt to make it through here. So, some way over here, across this larger creek, I'm going to try to find another creek, a smaller creek to head up. Downstream, upstream. So, um, let's see what we find up here. Yeah, 
Creek. After classic well, I one. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna check it out. cold as I've been in this week. <clears throat> I just climbed Mount Shasta a few days ago and the water up there was ice cold. Of course, snow melt and all. So you can see we're heading across this creek. And I believe what we're headed to is right over there. To go up with this other creek area. All right, so I found the other smaller creek bed that we're gonna hike up and uh, see if we can make our way up over the uh, rocks and trees and all through here. It's going to be plenty challenging getting through here. I've duck under most of these trees. Step over that one. Hiking deeper into these redwoods is like hiking back in time. Some of these redwoods are hundreds and even thousands of years old. Bushwhacking up this creek really isn't too bad if you just take your time and walk in the lowest spots. I find that way my feet won't slip down to lower places and make me fall so I just find the low spots to walk in. That seems to help. There are bears and mountain lions in this area, but they shouldn't give us any problem. As much as these trees are. Behind me you can see some of the gigantic ferns growing through here. 
They're as big as I am. I've been looking around up high to see if I can locate it hiking up this stream. So as I'm hiking up here, I'm keeping my eye on the sky to see if I can find it yet. I need to go further up the creek here. Deeper and deeper into the redwoods. This place is so beautiful.
Boy. <clears throat> I was looking up here and I thought maybe this was this was it, but it's supposed to be a double tree and the right one of a double tree but I'm not sure if that's it or not so I want to keep looking up upstream a little bit more see if if I can find something that looks like it should be it searching Wow, here's one of the really big redwoods came down and fell down across this creek. I had to ditch my backpack back there because it was getting too cumbersome to uh, climb over all these logs. Well, parts of the tree that uh, fell down here. Just gonna walk across the creek here on the redwood here. The uh, Hyperion must be still up this creek a little bit further. I'm starting to get a little bit discouraged because I've been heading up for bushwhacking here quite a while, so hopefully I'll find it pretty soon. Nothing quite looks right yet as I look up the, at the treetops to try and find my research which one it should be. Without my backpack on, I'm able to move a little bit faster now up this stream bed. I should almost be there. I keep looking up to find the right image from what I've seen in photos. There's just so many big ones here. Up here, it looks like a really tall one, but I'm not sure if it's it or not, but there's a really, really tall one straight ahead. I can't see it, but it's way, 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 way up there.
I'm looking. Well, things might not be going so well because I've been going up this creek for quite a while now and I have not found what the tree is supposed to be looking like yet. So I'm going to start heading back down the creek, grab my backpack again, and keep looking upwards and see if I can see the right image of what it's supposed to look like when I get to the Hyperion tree. So I'm going to start heading back down now and um, hopefully I'll find it on the way back out because I'm sure I've gone past where it's supposed to be. Hey, I'm getting pretty excited. Right after I grab my backpack again uh, and head down the creek some more, uh, I've been watching upwards to see if I could find the right image from what I've seen from my research on the internet. And I believe I'm in the right spot to head up from the creek here. And if I can move the camera up here, you can see the double tree I was looking for. If I can get focused up here. And uh, right there are the two, the, the double tree, and it should be the right one. Right there, that should be Hyperion. I'm going to head up the uh, creek bank here and check it out. Check it out, I think we're getting to it. It's a good thing I like adventure because it's been plenty of adventure getting here. Let's see. There's another big one, but that's not it for sure. Okay, head over this way. Ah, oh. this is Hyperion. Nice. I found some images after I did some research before I came here to find it and it's looking exactly right. Well, you can't even see the, tall, the top of it right now, but there's the base of it right there. I'll continue heading up this redwood tree I'm hiking on. See, I've been hiking up this redwood tree laying on the ground here. There's lots of uh, ferns growing on it. Here's the surrounding surrounding landscape here. Hyperion, can't believe it. Tallest tree on earth. Out of three, approximately three trillion other trees. I'm gonna try and get some perspective on this pretty soon by I don't know how. Hey, walking around it for you. Or something to show you the size of it. Two 
379 feet tall. I'm going to hop off this redwood here. Get down to the ground. I can't believe I found it. Just a few minutes ago, I was thinking, oh, it's just a wild goose chase. There's no way I'll find Hyperion. And I kept my eyes on the skies. I found the top of it. This is it. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and set up the camera and stand next to her or something or walk around it to show you the perspective of how big this is. Now it's hard to show you how tall this tree is at 379 feet, but what I can show you here at the base is at least how large it is uh, in diameter at the bottom here. So um, it's not a record holder for the uh, size and diameter, so it is very uh, large down here as you can see. I'm just going to walk around down here to show you, uh, just to give you some perspective on the base of it, how big it actually is down here, uh, though it's not a record holder for the diameter, but it is for the height of the tree. So I'm just walking around here to show you how, uh, to get perspective on how big uh, this tree is, at least here at the base of it. It's really unbelievable. Wow, it's just I can't believe I'm here. I'm so glad that you get to watch this with me because it's super special to find a tree like this. Uh, and uh, again, it was just discovered in 2006. And uh, as of right now, it's the record holder for the largest tree in the world. Uh, at any time, that could be uh, that could change on another based on another discovery. But as of right now, Hyperion is it. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go walk around the tree to try and give you some more perspective how large it is, at least at the base of it. Even though you can't still get perspective on the vertical, but if I tilt the camera up here, you can hopefully see it's very, very tall. And you can see the tippy tops up there, the left one. So anyway, Let's go ahead and walk down here, and uh, we'll try to uh, get some more perspective on Hyperion. Sometimes things are so large that you can't really get a grasp on it, but it might help by walking around here. And I'm try to walk on this tree here. I'm not going to walk 
up there where a person could, but I'm going to walk down here a little bit lower. Right here on beautiful redwood forest, deep, deep in the woods, Northern California. Simply amazing to be here. It's hard to believe. I was really doubting whether we'd find it back there. I just got the idea that I'd probably gone too far because it felt like it. And sure enough, I came back and found it. Again, it's this one right here. Here's another perspective on Hyperion. see a little bit more of the perspective of the height of it at 379 plus and you can see the top of it way up there Whoop. Whoop. way up to be here. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video of searching for and finding the Hyperion tree. Um, if you uh, did enjoy it, please um, like the video and you can subscribe if you'd like to. I have lots of different playlists on my channel covering lots of different topics and areas. Have a good day.